Hey guys, it's Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. Me and Chelsea today are going to be cat proofing my patio because that little kitten I rescued is really freaking smart and learned how to get out the dog door. Scandalous. Hi, kitty. We are headed to Lowe's right now and we are going to be getting some supplies to keep that little fucker in. <laughs> <laughs> He's mine forever! <laughs> Is that like a hostage situation? Like not letting your cat out ever? I don't know. Dogs are so different though. So we're pulling into Lowe's and let's see what supplies we can get to keep this kitty contained. Stay tuned. some wood and the guy is going to cut it. Measuring my pretty wood. <laughs> So now we're getting some nails for the wood to make it really sturdy. Some washers. I think we need a fern now. Because <laughs> I think we're going to have to get rid of some plants. So I think I want to make it cute and <laughs> have shopping problems. So now we're going to buy a fern. <laughs> and he said I won't be able to kill it that easy. So very excited about that. Pretty pretty. <laughs> we just cleaned off my whole patio and I'm ready to get this nasty thing out of here. So I did it with zip ties, getting like super nasty. I'm not about to get it all in my nice clean apartment, so it's gonna go into my parking spot down below. Here we go. Make sure there's no one down here. <laughs> Watch out! Overboard! <laughs> My next door neighbors must love me. <laughs> Hammer and nails. Uh, we are going to make our base with the wood. So see how the pole is like a couple inches off. If I didn't have anything down there to brace it, it would move. So we are using the wood down there to brace it and we're also going to brace it another way and it will secure it even though there is a gap right here. Since I live in an apartment, this is all going to be removable. Nothing is going to be permanent so I can just undo the screws and take it apart and take it to another place if I need. I've been living here for 10 years so <laughs> probably not moving anytime soon unless I get the monetization. <laughs> Please watch my ads. Like don't skip them ever. <laughs> okay so my assistant's going to help me. Cause there's cars under us and I don't want it to fall over and hit the car, you know? <laughs> we are gonna nail it together like this. We're doing it. <laughs> We're building stuff. <laughs> I literally out of the car. That's what I'm doing. I'm doing it. Ew. Bro, I'm doing it though. Ew. Oh, oh, in your mouth? Yeah, yeah, oh, oh, yeah. It's just about? weird. I'm in! Oh, we kind of measured wrong, so. Mr. Ikea knife is our saw. <laughs> we measured um, it for it being this way instead of this way, so now we have to take some inches off. So, life happens. So. <laughs> it might take five years. <laughs> so we are going to take our nut nuts <laughs> and bolts and we are going to fasten this. So now it's already nice and secure down there. Yay! We need to secure it to this pole. And we're gonna take our, I don't even know what this is. Comment down below if you know what it is. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Wrap it around and match up the little holes. Screw. Okay, and then I'm gonna put the nut on the bottom. Taking my pliers to hold it so it gets really tight. Like literally not going anywhere. 
and bending the metal until you have it around the wood and to the exact spot you want it to be. Bend it to place, trim the excess, and screw it together. So off camera, we started this out to make sure it was good. We have it in the corner and we folded it and stapled it in the back. So I'm about to show you on the next piece how we did that. We are gonna take this and our staple gun and staple, I'm gonna staple it in the back. Sorry, I can't give you that camera angle. There's cars under it and I don't trust my um, tripod. I'm going to put this up here and fold it nicely. And I'm going to staple it now and secure it. Now I got the first one fastened, so now I can pull down and make it really taut so there's no wrinkles in it. It's going to be way cuter. I'm out really in the way. Can you get out of my frame? <laughs> okay, so we are pulling on the bottom, and then I'm stapling the bottom first, and then we'll work our way up, pulling it as tight as we can. assistant is helping me. Life hack with this steamer gets out all the wrinkles so you know how tight to pull it. Okay, okay. It's getting there. We have a steam. This is how much we have done so far. We are going to sleep because it's really late and my neighbors might hate us with the staple gun but I'm going to finish that side tomorrow. So I measured what areas I needed to put the netting and I cut it to size. Then I went ahead and stapled it every couple of inches on the roof to the wood beam. I put the net behind the wood and stapled it. I cut and measured the piece for the side and I started by fastening it to the beam in the roof in the middle of it. I got out my hammer and I got these little nails that have a little plastic hook on them that will go into the concrete and secure the plastic knitting. Taking some zip ties. Placing them every couple inches all the way up to the roof and then cutting off the excess net to make it cute. I got a monofilament cord which is pretty much used for beading or like fishing line, plastic string and used my curved needle and I sewed it all together nice and tight so the kitty could not get out anywhere and it made it look like one seamless piece of fabric. I also sewed the whole top of it to the netting so it's secure on the top also. It turned out so beautiful, it exceeded my expectations, and my vision actually came to life and panned out how I wanted it to. Now my kitty is safe, and I have a beautiful spot to relax with them also. Patio is done. It's my own little personal kitty jail so he can't escape or hurt himself because I'm on the second story and that would be a catastrophe if he got out for his own safety jail. He absolutely loves it. He's been exploring. He's going in and out the dog door just to go outside at all hours of the night. I now realize that cats are nocturnal. I've never had a cat before so realizing this 1 a.m. to 2 a.m. and like 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. he'll just jump up go psycho run in and out the dog door and now go out here and try to knock things down, jump all over. But he absolutely loves it and now I don't have to worry and jump up with him to make sure he doesn't escape. So he is locked in. I wanted to thank Chelsea. She helped me so much. If I thought I was going to be able to do this video by myself and I was like, hey girl, you want to be in the video? And she's like, heck yes. So she came and helped me with the video. But if I didn't have her, I would not have been able to do this. I was like, oh, I can just do it and staple it. No, you need someone to help you. It's not that hard of a project, but you need someone to help you, as you saw, to like pull the um, fabric tight so you can staple it. Not entirely impossible to do by yourself, but 
way easier if you have a helper. So thank you, Chelsea. Mwah. I love you, Chelsea. You are the best. Um, I will link all her info below so you can go subscribe and follow, show her a little support. That would be great. Look how big he is. He's gotten so big. My last video, he was so little. Did your cat do this not give you love? He loves me, I promise. No, I'm kidding. No, he's honestly the best cat ever. Now I freaking like cats. Did this whole thing for him. Please subscribe and boop that like button to show us you love the video. <laughs> yeah, boop me just like that. Thanks. Boop that little notification bell so you will get notified every time I upload a video. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Crystal T A X O X O for more fun. Thank you guys so much for watching my video and I'll see you on the next. Bye.